What's up, YouTube? I am here to visit the actor Nyambe Nyambi, who is gonna cook me his favorite healthy meal. One thing that's pretty cool is that Nyambi is actually a neighbor of mine. He lives in my neighborhood, so I just walked over here today, and I'm really excited about this one. The pressure is definitely on. Nyambi's told me that he knows how to cook, so let's find out. Hopefully he's home. Hey, 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 what's up? How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you too. Yeah, yeah come on in. Uh, uh, thank you very much. No shoes. No shoes. So it's a Swedish way. Like it. Yes, Same in my yes, house. Yes. Nyambe, finally. Yes, I finally got you here in my kitchen. I told you I could cook. I didn't say how well. I said I could cook. I'm a very good cook. I need to go home. Hey, you, you made it sound like you could cook well? Yes, I can cook well yeah. to where I, you know, sometimes when I eat it, I'm like, oh, this is actually, this is much more quality. This are are quality. you nervous now? I'm a little nervous, because <laughs> cooking for somebody else, it feels, you're very precious. You know, it's, it's almost like you, when you're watching a movie, or you're watching a scene or in a movie that you love, and you know the other person is now seeing it for the first time. Mm. You stop watching the movie, you're just watching them and hoping they enjoy it, you know? Wow. That's what this food is going to be like. I'm you watching you eat. You know what? I'm pretty easy. I love food. Yeah. It already looks very promising. Yes. And it's funny that you and I ended up as neighbors. Yes. I'm the guy who's building superheroes and then you... <laughs> I love superheroes. You're a superhero yeah. and I got the opportunity to help you a little bit yeah. when you prepped for Titus. Yeah, it was a, it was a huge, huge help. It's, you know, I'm a huge comic book fan. I love 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 the comics love not only the books but also love the, the movies the animated stuff and so huge fan of you know uh, the one you know wonder woman of course the work you did uh with gal gadot and among other you know amazing actors you know batman all that stuff then this came along and i got this offer to play freedom beast i was like yeah yeah i want to yeah i would love to play freedom beast and then I, I i looked at the picture of freedom beast and i was like okay <laughs> he's completely <laughs> naked, you know, and yeah. um, I was like, okay, no wardrobe can hide this body. And then I was like, wow, Magnus is my direct neighbor and he trains everybody. I gotta go ask him and just see, hey, I got this thing going down and you were just completely open and ready to be like, whatever you need, brother, I got you. So uh, thank you for that. That's how we roll. Yeah. If you guys have seen it, you see what he looks like. You really pulled it off. You thank did. You. Not only the character, but... Mm -hmm. oof. Physically yeah. as well, you worked hard and you, you got there. Thank you, thank you. Six weeks, six weeks. And, and you know, it's amazing to know now what I can accomplish in six weeks. And yeah. With even much more time, like what I'd be able to accomplish. So mm -hmm. thank you for that. You're welcome. So what are we cooking today? Okay, so we're cooking, so my favorite dish, you know, anyone who knows me is salmon. Salmon, like salmon through and through. Like we go to a restaurant, people are like, you know, what are you gonna have? Oh, no, you know, you're gonna have the salmon. Okay, so uh, like they know what I'm gonna eat. And one of my favorite- What type of salmon? Oh, wow, it's gotta be wild. Alaskan wild. salmon. Wild That's Alaskan I mean. salmon, like wild, that. Wild Alaskan salmon, um, well, wild salmon. It could be wild Pacific salmon, but wild. I like it, it has to be wild for me. Uh, so we got salmon. So we have the salmon, so we're gonna be uh, cooking the salmon, and then of course I always have something green, so we're gonna have broccoli with that. And so we're gonna do like a bro like a, a salmon broccoli sort of presentation. That's what we're gonna do. All right. Yeah, hopefully the presentation tastes good. I'm, I'm sure it will. I'm not too worried to go. <laughs> okay, all right. So we got some shallots. So we have some shallots. Um, we have a mixture of tarragon, parsley, and thyme. Uh, and then we have our olive oil here, and we have uh, sea salt, pink salt. Um, and then we also will add some pepper uh, to it. Black pepper. Black pepper. Black mm -hmm. pepper. Thank you very much. Add lemon juice, and then we'll add all of that to um, the salmon. You know, rush it, paint it, because you know I'm also an artist. All right, good. sounds good. Before we start, I'm really curious about your fridge. Okay. Can I have a look? Yeah, go ahead. I ain't scared. <laughs> I ain't scared. <laughs> Ooh. This is an organized fridge. This looks great, Nyambi. Thank you. So what, what's the one thing that I, that I will always find in your fridge? You will always find some variation of a pineapple or pineapple juice. And what's the one thing that I will never find in your fridge? Ah, uh, okay. The one thing you will never find, mushrooms. mushrooms. You will never find mushrooms. That's just me. 
I, and shrimp. That's okay. That's just me. No shrimp. Yeah. No mushrooms. No. So uh, why no shrimp or mushroom? Um, okay, so the, no shrimp because it reminds me of a pinky finger. So that, that's that. And then mushrooms, you know, my dad and I, we just never liked mushrooms. Got it. You know? Yeah, just, it, it's a fun, you know, you think fungus? It's a fungi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and so, you know, usually you think of fungus and you're like, ah, I can't mess with fungus. Mm. And so then people are like, you're eating fungus. You know, that's how I was as a kid. So, you know, I that's why you. I know mushrooms. Is it important for you to eat healthy? It's very important for me to eat healthy. Um, it's interesting, anytime I don't eat healthy, I can feel it in my body. And so having felt the difference, I could feel it. You know, I could feel it in my thighs. Like, oh, okay, right? That's that, that's that uh, the Australian licorice right there in my thigh sticking out. Okay, <laughs> oh shoot, okay, that's my, my foot cramp because of that, you know. Yeah. That ice cream cake, because I love ice cream cake. It's important for me to eat healthy. Cool. So while we're doing this, uh, mm -hmm. let's do 10 rapid questions. Let's do it, done. What's right. your favorite healthy food? Uh, favorite healthy food, salmon. If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, healthy, unhealthy, what would it be? Pineapples. What's your biggest kitchen fail? And don't say today. <laughs> Hope it's not today. <laughs> biggest kitchen fail, wasn't quite the kitchen, the extension of the kitchen, but barbecuing, um, I believe uh, I left something on there too long, I forgot what the same, I'm probably gonna do it again because I don't remember what exactly I did, but I basically burned the grill to where it was just charcoal all over the place. And yet I can't remember what I did. And so therefore I'm doomed to do it again. I think it might've been salmon actually. Okay. Yeah. Well, I would say it's highly likely. Yeah. What's the one thing that you refuse to share? I think my private life. Like my private, my deep private life. That's the one thing I refuse to share. Yeah? Yeah. If you could kill off any character on TV, who would it be? You know, I can't get it out of my head, but someone I know well, Kenny. They killed so Kenny. They, yeah. It's gotta be Kenny. That is an honor. It's an yeah. honor to kill Kenny. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so when you survive the apocalypse, yes. what will your job be? Right, if I survive, that means my wife survived. So therefore, our job is to bring civilization back. Making babies. Let's get to it. Let's mm. get to it. That's Make a really good answer. So, who are your two favorite superheroes? The Flash and Batman. Flash and Batman, two good ones. Mm -hmm. If they would fight, who would win? Uh, Batman. Well, because if Batman has the time, like to study you and figure you out, to me, virtually, yeah, you know, I'd be able to he'd be Superman. The Flash, I mean, he's too cocky, too naive, you know, and be burning so much oil, trying to, you know, run as fast as he can, put so much energy yeah. that he, he needs to stop to eat something on it, you know. Batman. Batman wins Batman every day wins. of the week. Yeah, every all day. All right, all right. Every day. So what do you listen to in the gym? Lately, uh, Kendrick Lamar. Like Kendrick, all things Kendrick. Like, it's just, you know, humble. Like, I mean, anything Kendrick, I'd say, hey Siri, play Kendrick Lamar. And then, whatever it plays as well. It's good choice. Yeah, good yeah. choice. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna tell him that when I see him tomorrow. Ooh. Kendrick. Come on now. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I do train Kendrick. And uh, yeah, he's uh, an awesome person. Not only one of the greats, yeah, no, he's, as an artist, as a person, even better. So. Yeah, it's amazing. That all shines through his music. Okay, last question, Yavi. Uh, bench press or squat? Bench press. Have you seen my legs? <laughs> <laughs> yep, bench press all the all, all every day of the week. Every day of the week, like every day. <laughs> wow, this looks great. So while we were uh, doing these questions, you you um, mixed all this. So I mixed all of that together. The shallots, uh, olive oil, tarragon, thyme, parsley, lemon juice. All right, all of that together. And now I'm gonna add uh, pepper. So this is a wild sockeye salmon. Yep. So sockeye is a type of salmon that contains a little less fat. Mm. So I'm just adding avocado oil onto the pan. Got it. I actually got that advice from you. Avocado oil being healthier. Yeah, I mean, I use a lot of oil, olive oil as well for the taste, but yeah, avocado oil is a good, good yeah. option. You hit me with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Did, I say that? Did I say that? <laughs> Did I say that? Okay. Do you feel like there's more pressure nowadays for, for Hollywood actors to get in shape or stay in shape? Um, it, I can see how that is, you know? I feel like you just have to make the decision to be who you are and how you, like, what makes you feel good, you know, yeah. in terms of your body and, and where you want to live at, you know? I don't think, you know, not every character is buff. No. Not every, you know what I mean? So, like, I feel like um, 
there shouldn't be that pressure. I think the people that get the attention, seemingly, are the ones that are in shape, in buff, or whatever, but I think that's a myth. It's really embodying and building the character as well. Yeah, it's all about well, who is this character, where is this character at, you know. That's what I love about your performance in Titans. You did such a tremendous job of embodying the character. Thank you. you. You were brilliant. Thank you. So not only did you have the body, you did everything else well, well as well. Thank you. It was very important to, for me to try and honor the comic as close as possible. And you know, he's, you know, when people draw their their comic superheroes, like the human body tends to not get to, you know, the, you know that where it's like 30, 40, you know, ab muscles yeah. um, in one app. But I wanted, you know, clearly it just says, it says, okay, this guy's in shape, he takes care of himself, he eats a certain way. You know, what are those things that I can do to sort of, you know, build and be in that same uh, lane as him? Yeah, that was very important to me. You know, I think it's really about what does the character need? Yeah. And honoring that. Do you have a certain f philosophy when you cook? Do you, are you on a specific diet or? Yeah. yeah. For me, uh, the diet that I've always been, yeah, not that it, it's like, something where I know that's a proven thing or whatever, it just helps me out. But I, I was on a blood type diet, you know, so I eat anything that's that's recommended for a, a type uh, A, A positive. And so anything that, the, you know, is in that family, I was already a pescatarian, and that diet actually leans towards being a pescatarian. Got it. Yeah. The blood type diet. The blood type diet. Cool. Look at this, guys. Wow. Well, 10 points for presentation. Thank you very much. What I love about this dish is that, you know, salmon is one of the healthiest protein sources you can, you can eat. This is a good dish for someone who's on a diet mm -hmm. because you have the broccoli, which contains a little carbs, yeah. a tiny bit, high in iron and fiber, salmon, high in protein, and you got some fat from, from the salmon as well. So the few, comes from, from the broccoli and the fat and salmon and the protein comes from the majority of the salmon. So this is a good low calorie, mm -hmm. high protein dish. Yeah. Perfect if you want to get in shape. There you go. So uh, real, real quick, if you want to take a bite, I'm going to do that. Ready? Ready? We're just going to clink forks. Boom. Boom. And then, thank you very much. Take a bite. Wow. You weren't lying. You're it's a good, good. cook. Yeah, it's good. This is pretty good. There's some things I probably would have done, but I like where it's at. Mm, the shallots and the lemon is, is, is doing wonders. I don't need to say much more than this, I hope. No, thank you. Uh, this was delicious. Thank you. That right there warms my heart. That makes me feel like uh, I, I did something, that we accomplished something. So thank you. Thank you. You are my neighbor. Mm -hmm. what, what's for dinner? Well, we got more salmon. All, All right. right. So that's why, you know, so I'll bring I this like over. That. Sounds know, good. Like how, how about 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. I'm there. All right. 5.59, I'm there. Uh, Naomi, this was great. Thank you so much. Thank if you very people much. wanna to follow you, where uh, can they find you? Yeah, you, know, you can find me on Instagram at, at Niambi, at N-Y-A-M-B-I, at N as in Nancy, Y as in yellow, A as in Arbright, M as in Mary, B as in boy, I as in idiot. And if that's too advanced for you, you can just <laughs> look below. I'm gonna put his Instagram in the description below so you can find it easily. Just click on it and follow this guy. Thank you so much. See you next week.